Alrighty, um, this next one's gonna be a little difficult, but hopefully y'all can follow. Uh, right now I'm gonna show you just kind of how to set up Sony Acid Pro with uh, a slave. Um, in this case, I'm going to use Reason 4.0. First thing you want to do is go over here where it says Insert Soft Synth. Click on that. Now, when you go up here to your VST preferences, it's just like choosing, you know, an instrument that you want down here. Except if you notice at the top, you see Rewire Devices. That's basically what a slave is. It's what you're going to rewire with it. Uh, I'm not going to use Ableton Live. Um, the demo I'm going to use for this one is going to be Reason. <clears throat> Now you can pick whichever channel that you want, of course all the way up to however many channels you have available. We're going to use just go ahead and mix left and right. It's going to be the audio MIDI type. Of course it has the vendor. Click on OK. Now this screen's going to pop up. You have a choice to you close rewire device application, which we don't want to do that. Lock MIDI port configuration and we can edit it. Now the thing is what you want to do with these, I'm just going to X this out right now. The thing you want to do with these, open Acid 6.0 first, and then go ahead and open your Reason. Then, after you open your Reason, you're going to go ahead and do like I just did and set this up. I'm going to go into Reason. I have just my mixer already set up, and I just threw in a little uh, Rejum right there. All right. So, you want to always make sure, look at the back of your equipment, make sure it's all plugged in right, and you got it the way you're running. You can flip it back around. Uh, the way to flip it is you can push tab, and it just flips it right on around. Alright, now we know that this is all set up. Let's go ahead and set up our drums for Reason. Of course, this isn't a re Reason demo. It's for Acid Pro, but I should have set this up in the first place. Uh, we live, we learn. Just going to do a regular old beat. Yeah, just a simple old beat. Now, go up to here. What you do is, being that this is set on enable pattern selection, you can go over here. You're going to have this down here. This is your reason um, VST, basically, at the time. <clears throat> Remember, uh, when you put your other uh, soft sense in there, or your instruments, you know, it pops up just like this. Well, this is your control for reason. So when you hit record, everything that you have on reason is going to play on here. Now you see how it's doing? Now you can increase the volume and everything since it's going to be kind of, you know, not loud enough or whatever. And then you can stop it right there. Now, this is going to pop up, and this is what you're going to save it as. You can rename it as, say, Redrum Kicks or something, you know, wh whichever you want. Done. It's going to build the peaks, and there you have it. That's what we just made. Now, that's how uh, you go ahead and set up your reason as a slave or rewire device to Acid Pro. Hey, yo, I'll give you a sneak peek of something real quick. Dude, check this out. I know this ain't a part of it. Dude, this program is so awesome. It's called Thor. Man, this joker's wicked. Let's just do a quick sequence for you. Ooh, let's get that drums. See if I can do it. Let's see what we got here. Looking for a good one.
Okay, enough. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just wanted to show you what that was all about. Dude, it's, it's sweet. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, by the way, yeah, I suggest Reason 4.0. It's an awesome program.